We're here in the Renegade booth, and uh, out of all of the LSA aircraft that are here at the show, they've got probably one of the sleekest designs. Uh, the aircraft looks like it's moving 120 miles an hour sitting on the ramp. Uh, another unique thing that I really do like about their aircraft is it has a, I'm not going to say a real aircraft engine, but Go it's got a, yeah. you know what say that. It's yeah. got a Lycoming engine instead of the Rotax. Not that Rotax is anything bad, it's just that most aviators out there that have flown legacy aircraft are more familiar with Lycoming, more comfortable with Lycoming. And I'm here with Doc Bailey, he's going to tell us a little bit more about the uh, Renegade aircraft. Okay, we started out with uh, Rotax and Jabiru engines like everybody else really did. Uh, we got with Lycoming about three and a half years ago, helped them do the test flying of the Lycoming engines, uh, helped them develop the fuel injection, the electronic ignition systems. We have several to choose for in electronic ignition systems. Uh, we put them in the sleek airplanes. This is our new tail dragger version that we're introduced here. Uh, we've always had the tricycle versions that we've had uh, in uh, four years past. Uh, we introduced the tricycle versions about five years ago. This is the first flying prototype. We had a mock-up at uh, the Lycoming 10 at Oshkosh. So now this will be having the three-bladed prop, which looks real nice. We painted it up, looked like a fighter, because everybody at uh, Lycoming said, wow, you know, with the tail wheel, it looks like the old fighter versions, maybe a P-51 or something. So we decided to do something a little nostalgic and paint it up like a P-40 Warhawk, put the three-bladed prop on it, the Lycoming fuel-injected electronic ignition with the Vetterman exhaust. We're pushing about 124 horsepower and about an 800-pound machine. So we literally take off within about 300 feet of the uh, uh, the runway without holding brakes or without doing a you know performance takeoff. About the time you have the throttles to the stop, it's off the ground. So it is a very high performance light sport, if you will. And the carbon fiber Kevlar construction makes it very sound, very strong. And of course, we use Dynon, Grand Rapids, Garmin materials to put in uh, our avionics packages. So we have a very state-of-the-art avionics package. We have a very state-of-the-art engine. There's not very many aircraft that even use this engine if they wanted to. Uh, our weight components with the carbon fiber and clear bar uh, really only allow about 310 pounds for the airframe. So we have the availability to put the, the engine in, the real aircraft engine, if you will. 